This week, SpaceX is kicking things into overdrive. The crucial in-flight abort test for NASA's commercial crew program is scheduled for this weekend, Saturday, January 18th. Starlink 3 is targeted for just two days later on Monday, January 20th. And in Boca Chica, new high-fidelity parts are being created for Starship SN1. SpaceX Starship Update Last week, on Friday, January 10th, SpaceX successfully conducted a pressurization to failure test on a Starship test tank. According to a statement made by Elon shortly after the test on Twitter, the Dawn to Brow well made it to 7.1 bar, which is pretty good as approximately 6 bar is needed for orbital flight. Elon also mentioned that with more precise parts and better welding conditions, SpaceX could reach 8.5 bar, which is the 1.4 factor of safety needed for crewed flight. With the tank test now completed, the team in Boca Chica is working around the clock to achieve those more precise parts and better welding conditions mentioned by Elon. The test tank has now been almost completely disassembled. Former test structures like the UFO stack and bulkhead have also been disassembled. On Monday of this week, a new spherical structure was also spotted by Boca Chica Gal next to a section of a new Starship nose cone. On Thursday, January 16, Elon confirmed via Twitter, as many suspected, that the part is actually a liquid oxygen header tank. SpaceX continues to produce new rings for Starship SN1. Since the last video update, about two more rings have been created, and on Wednesday, January 15th, two rings were stacked. On Thursday, parts arrived from Florida on Go Discovery. The site in Boca Chica is busy with activity all around. Construction is also in full swing on additional buildings and tents that will be instrumental in providing the improved conditions needed for SpaceX's new manufacturing processes. SpaceX has a lot of work to do if it wants to achieve its incredibly ambitious goals. In a tweet on Thursday night, Elon stated that megatons per year to orbit are needed for life to become multiplanetary. Elon broke down those numbers, stating that the Starship design goal is three flights per day at the average rate. This equates to approximately 1,000 flights per year at less than 100 tons per flight. This means every 10 ships yields one megatron per year to orbit. Building 100 Starships per year gets to 1,000 megatons in 10 years or 100 megatons per year. An important factor here also has to do with fuel production on Mars, to which Elon stated that a lot of work still needs to be done in that area. In other Starship-related developments on January 12th, MZ announced via Twitter that he's looking for a female partner to go to the moon with him. MZ's quest to find a partner will be chronicled in a documentary titled Full Moon Lovers. The documentary is being produced by Japanese entertainment company Abima TV Inc. According to a statement made on the documentary website, MZ wants to find a life partner and with his future partner he wants to shout their love and world peace from outer space. While one function of the documentary seems to be finding MZ a life partner, it can also serve another critical function to help increase public awareness of the Dare Moon project, SpaceX's Starship, and space exploration in general. Crew Dragon IFA Update SpaceX's highly anticipated Crew Dragon in-flight abort test is finally scheduled to take place this week. The launch is targeted for Saturday, January 18, 2020 at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from LC-39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The weather conditions so far are currently at a 90% go, with the primary concern being launched through precipitation. The critical in-flight abort test will demonstrate the Super Draco thruster's ability to propel Dragon a safe distance away from the launch vehicle Falcon 9 in the event of an emergency. Sequence of Events During the IFA, Falcon 9 is expected to follow a standard ISS trajectory with the exception of launch azimuth. The abort is expected to occur at approximately 88 seconds into flight. At this point, the eight Super Draco engines will ignite, accelerating Dragon away from Falcon 9. Following this point, in rapid succession, the Super Draco engines will shut down, Dragon will coast to Apogee, the trunk will be jettisoned, and Draco thrusters will be fired in order to orient Dragon to a parachute deploy altitude. Dragon is expected to splash down in the Atlantic Ocean, approximately 30 kilometers downrange of the launch site. The capsule will be recovered by Go Searcher. The booster is supporting the in-flight abort B1046, previously supported Bangabandu-1, Puteeth, and SSOA. After abort, the booster is expected to become uncontrollable and break apart. As such, Falcon 9 will be utilized in the expendable condition, so there won't be any grid fins or landing legs. In addition to this, a full mixture of TEA-TEB ignition fluid will not be used to support recovery burns. 
According to Elon, SpaceX tried to design a way to save B-1046, but it was not possible. Falcon 9 will be destroyed in dragon fire. We could expect some gnarly photos. As the abort will be initiated prior to staging, the Falcon 9 second stage will not be equipped with an MVAC engine or any of the components necessary for second stage burns. The second stage, however, will be fueled. Demo 2 coming soon. If the IFA is deemed a success by both SpaceX and NASA, then we could expect to see the arrival of the Crew Dragon capsule supporting Demo 2 at the Cape next month. Starlink update. SpaceX is now targeting the launch of Starlink 3, the third batch of version 1 Starlink satellites, for no earlier than Monday, January 20th, 2020. The launch is expected to take place from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida at 12.20 p.m. Eastern Time. The launch is expected to utilize B-1051, a twice-flown Falcon 9 booster. Satellite Albedo Update There hasn't been an official comment from SpaceX just yet on the performance of the satellite with the coding on Starlink 2. However, on Tuesday of this week, in a tweet, Elon highlighted SpaceX's commitment to preserving the night sky. In the tweet, Elon states that so far, SpaceX has had good discussions with leading astronomers. One way or another, we'll make sure Starlink doesn't inhibit new discoveries or change the character of the night sky. Elon also highlighted that advancing humanity's understanding of the universe is a fundamental motivator for SpaceX. A starship can put a giant telescope in orbit and on the moon. With an occluder, it can image Earth-like planets in other star systems. SpaceX's quick turnaround time between launches so far is impressive. We've already seen the launch of Starlink 2 just last week on January 6. And if all goes according to plan, we could expect to see some spectacular footage from the in-flight abort test on Saturday, as well as another launch of Starlink satellites on Monday. Weather and a few more variables pending.